Hi friends, it's Mimi. I am here to talk to you about our Calming Crochet Project. And I have some exciting news. Things are, um, things are going to have a different spin. So go ahead, grab yourself a cup of coffee and sit down and I will tell you all about it. Okay, so I was talking to my good friend Seta at Seta's place and um, we have decided to do a permanent collaboration with this project. Isn't that exciting? So how this is going to work is that the, the calming aspect of it and doing projects that um, you really, it's like a comforting pattern, nothing too, um, nothing too intense and it's just your way of winding down crochet just for you. The calming aspect really resonates with Seta so much. And for myself, even though I know that it resonates with a lot of you, for myself, uh, the, the crochet that I need that's just for me is something that's going to um, cause me to leap into the unknown and um, that something that is just completely different, out of my comfort zone. And uh, so after a lot of talking it out, um, kind of move a little bit, there we go. After a lot of talking this out, Seth and I have decided to make this permanent collaboration. So for those of you who are interested in the more, uh, the more calming, aspect of this monthly crochet along it's and it's an evergreen project by the way so it's just going on forever it'll always be happening so um head over to seta's place and see what she's up to and how she decides to put her spin on this concept because she's going to keep it going um and then she'll tell you how she's changed it a little bit and uh what what calm crochet means for her on her channel and over on my channel um this is going to be you're going to uh leap into the unknown and get outside of your comfort zone crochet and this will still again the comp the, the core concept is the same so it'll be crochet that's just it's something that's just for you but where where I decided to take this into the unknown territory is that, um, you know, have you ever had a project where it's just something you've always wanted to do and you're just afraid you haven't tried it or, you know, maybe it's patterns or graph crochet or crocheting animals or, you know, something that you've always wanted to do and you've been afraid and you haven't tackled it for whatever reason so that's what this is all about for me and what I'm going to do I'm going to do it a little differently than before because I'm not going to keep my project a secret so I will share with you monthly what project I am working on and it might be something you know because it's something that's um, stretching into the unknown I will give you monthly updates but it's not my project is definitely I'm not going to plan for it to be finished in a month because it's something that is um, unknown and different and I'm really going to stretch my imagination and my creativity so it may take me two months to finish it may take me longer but I am going to regularly share updates with you let you know any trouble that I run into how it's going also I'll let you know um, where my pattern source was like where I'm finding uh, where I'm finding the pattern because you know I'm I mean I'm creative okay I'm a graphic artist and uh, and I'm a seamstress and all that and yeah I'm creative but I am not a super hero crocheter I you know even people who have um, an art education background like myself need help. We can't figure it all out on our own. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do this crochet along because I need that creative help to 
to do that because there's always something, I feel like there's always something to learn. So no matter what I learned in college or what I learned as a professional creative, there's still always something out there for me to learn. And there's always a person who can teach me things that I don't know. So I'm going to be seeking out patterns um, that will help me do that. And I'm here to help you with that too. So if there's something that you're looking for, you don't know where to find it, let me know below in the comments. You could even email me and I will let you know where I'm finding these pattern sources. Um, and if I can't find it, maybe there's somebody um, below who can help you. If you look in the comments, I encourage everybody to um, interact with each other and maybe you can brainstorm and um, maybe you can figure out together, you know, if there's something you're looking for, maybe there's somebody in the comments, they're looking for the same thing and, you know, feel free to drop any pattern links in there and help each other out. And uh, so that's what this is all about, stretching your imagination and your creativity, um, building more creative relationships and together we can figure out, um, together we can figure out exactly, you know, how we're going to work this. So I encourage you to uh, make sure your notifications are on, subscribe to this video. I will do random giveaways for this project. I'm not sure when that will be, um, but I am going to, from time to time, I'll do a little giveaway. So you want to make sure you don't miss that. I, um, this is mostly about books and book related projects and books are the inspiration for everything in my life, really, um, or what I'm reading and thinking about the characters in the book and I'm thinking about um, what it is like the world that I'm being transported to when I'm reading those are the things that I want to create. So I'm so glad that you're here and thank you so much for joining me while we transition these projects off. And um, if you want, make you know, uh, come to both of our channels. Stay here and go to Seta's Place because between the two of us, it's like the best of both worlds. And that was kind of our hope um, when we decided to, uh, you know, split everything and that was one of the motivations for it because we make a great team and by the way she made me these gloves she gave these to me for christmas about five or six years ago and uh, i believe they were the first fingerless gloves that seta ever made um i also have a crochet vest that she made and a hat to go along with it it's a little too cold for that today um but these really keep me warm i love them so much and i love her dearly she's such a dear sweet friend and thank you so much for being on this crochet journey with both of us and um can't wait to share with you what's next so i will see you all soon